Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to go through one of the options available to create a job in Azure Synapse. We'll do this using the Copy Data Job tool. Let's dive right in. In our Synapse environment, we're going to head over into the database section. And you can see here we have our dedicated SQL pool here called SQL Pool 1. You can see it's empty and it has no tables. And what we're going to do is pull data in here from our Azure SQL database. I'll flip into our Azure SQL database. And over here, you can see that we have a sample database here called AdventureWorks LT. We'll copy these tables over into the dedicated SQL pool that I showed you a second ago using the copy data tool in Azure Synapse. Back in our Synapse Studio, we'll select the integrate button here. And on this page, we'll select the plus button and look for where it says copy data tool. Select it and you see a new page come up. This is gonna bring up the copy data tool. And on this page, we'll leave everything as default, but it's important to know that you have the option to create a schedule for this job. We'll go ahead and select next. On this page, we'll add our data source, which is Azure SQL database. Select new connection. And since I know this is under Azure, I'll select Azure and look for Azure SQL database. Here it is. Click on it and press continue at the bottom. On this page, we'll name our connection AdventureWorks DB. Next, we'll select the server name, then the database name, and add our username and password. We'll test our connection to make sure it's correct. And once it's successful, select create. This will bring you to view the data set. You can ignore my password save suggestion. And you can see we have our AdventureWorks LT database here. And you have the option to preview each table like so. If you didn't want to see the whole table, you have the option to select what table you want, or you also have the option to query the database over here. We'll go back to select under tables and choose all tables and hit next. You can also preview the tables here as well as apply filters. I'll go ahead and hit next again. And now we can select the destination for this. We'll choose SQL pool one. And I already have this connection made already. The best thing about using the copy tool in Synapse is that it will align what you have in your source and create the tables for you in your target location. We'll go ahead and hit next. And you can see the column mapping for each of the tables. You have the option to add columns or delete columns over here. Go ahead and hit next. And on this page, you can give it a name as well as select some other options. We'll leave most of these things as the default option, except for the copy method. We'll use bulk insert. And this might be familiar to DBAs that have used bulk insert in SQL Server. Pretty similar concept here. Hit next. And over here, we'll have a summary of the copy job. We can also verify that we have the 10 tables that will be copied. Once you hit next here, it will start the deployment process. And since these are small tables, it will move pretty quickly. Once you're done, you can hit finish, edit pipeline or monitor. I'll select monitor. And over here, you can see the details about the job. And what it does is it creates a pipeline and we can click through the pipeline over here to get more details of each of the stages within the pipeline. It's also important to know that you can view the pipeline by going into the integrate tab and selecting the name of the pipeline. This is important because you can rerun the job again here, make edits or run the job on a schedule by using triggers. This wraps up option one on how to run a copy job in Azure Synapse. Stay tuned for other methods on how to run a copy job in Azure Synapse. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share the video as well. Thank you, and I'll catch you in the next one.